All right, uh, Ryan, let's get your custom content into a library for you. As you can see, I've created a simple little handle here. And the first thing I need to do is make sure that I have a library that I can publish to. So I'll go into my project. And I'll go here to where we can uh, we can customize our, our configure our libraries. Do our library configuration from here. And what I'll do is this little icon right here will let me create a library. I will call it Custom Handles. I'll just double check. I have right there. And it is read write. Must be read write for it to work. Then I'll go ahead and save that. Done. Now once we've done this, we're ready to go into our Content Center Editor. Content Center Editor is going to be under the Manage tab. So we will go into there. As you can see, everything's grayed out. But what we're going to do is we are going to copy the configurations or kind of copy the structure of a custom library of a library into your custom library. Okay? So what we'll do, I'll add this in other parts and I will copy the custom structure or the category structure into custom handles. And then once I do that, I will say done and I'm ready to publish this part. So I will go to publish part. I do want to put it in custom handles. Say next. And I'll keep that in other parts. As you can see, it's going in there. Uh, we'll go next on there. If you have any other parameters that you need to put in there, you can do that at that time. If you want to have any key columns, you can add those in at this time. Now you can give it a name. Uh, you can pick a manufacturer if you want to. Not necessary, but if there's one that you want to pick, go ahead. Any kind of standard, any of this can be added now if you know it. If not, it's not necessary. You'll see a thumbnail image for it there. And now your part is published into your custom library. So if you go into an assembly and then you go to pull that, you'll have that available to you. I hope that answers your question for you. Have a great one.